welcome to In Bed with Sasha. I am your old Sasha, and today I have a double dose of treat for you. Actually, scratch that. I have a triple dose of treat for you in the form of our sponsors, World of Risque, and our very special guest, Trisha, CEO of Diva Choice. Before we start this show, I'd just like to remind you guys that it's still a competition going on on the In Bed with Sasha page. That's in underscore bed underscore with underscore Sasha. Okay, you guys need to get over there and enter the competition where all I'm asking is that you just enter the caption for the pictures that I've put up for your chance to win a goodie bag courtesy of World of Risque. And speaking of World of Risque, I'm going to introduce you guys to our sponsors. It's Karen and Steve from World of Risque. Hello. Hello. One on my left, one on my right. Hello. <laughs> How are you? We're all wearing red today. Oh, no, yeah. I <laughs> it wasn't planned. It wasn't planned, people. So, um, you're Karen. You're yeah, Steve. Steve yeah. So, and you're from World of Risky. Tell us. We are. So basically, World of Risky. World of Risky um, is a company that we um, designed many years ago, basically. And initially, basically, we started with selling clothes to the ladies, mm -hmm. um, and just basically selling selling products, if you like. And then we, we, you know, we got the inkling that women buy more. Okay. Basically. So then we started. So men are stingy. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> well, the women like to spend more money. Basically. Okay. You know what I mean, so mm -hmm. yeah. So from that inking, we basically started um sell adult products, yeah. toys, um, and it's been going on for years. But we stopped it at one stage, and then we started it again. And now we're at a stage basically where we're fully fledged and we're basically ready to give it our full. So you do more than clothes. You do toys, because yes. I don't know if you guys can see yes. all of these stuff over here yes, which we'll exactly. talk about like this is my absolute favorite like the slogan Karen read it for us what does fuck it say me. <laughs> well, go keep no keep going what's the slogan it says fuck me time to play time to fuck yeah right okay so again as you said <laughs> you know we have we have many games we have different yeah. types of games we have chess all sex we got another yeah. one called chess all sex um and that's basically about a, a chess game yeah um and it's involved in sex in different positions and okay the, the chess board and so forth um, are you guys a couple we're a business couple. couple. <laughs> we're a business couple. We're not actually, we're not actually a couple. You're not a romantic to. couple. No, no, no. Okay, no. okay. Because I was going to ask if you play these games, but you yeah. might no, play them with your other half. We then. do play them. We always try our products before we actually sell it to anybody. So we have tested our products before we give it out there. Because what it is, we're mm. a company, we're a bespoke company. So we choose our products specifically that goes incorporate in what our clients will want and what we think will work for couples, for on your own, or things like that, so it's bespoke. So it's not we're not a whole world world of shop. We 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 pick these um, luxury products specifically mm -hmm. that we think is important for each and every one of our clients. Okay, what is your actual? If you had to choose one item, what is your absolute favorite? <laughs> my favorite. Mm. My favorite. There's I've got two. Mm -hmm. One's the heart. Okay. The heart. Oh, the which heart. Is, which, is, which is this one here. Okay, the heart. Yeah. Yeah, that okay. is a stimulator. As, as you can see, it's like, you wouldn't know that it's a, a clit stimulator. <laughs> well, it's as, got as, as much as a clit stimulator, <laughs> as you say that, Karen. Yeah, but... It's, it's also a, a, a massager. Um, yeah, so but I mean, I use it for my clit, basically. You, and not it's this a, one, not this one. Not this you? one, <laughs> come on, not this one. But it's got seven <laughs> speeds. Ooh, seven! Yeah, seven yeah, speeds yeah. on this one. Can, can you turn it on? Yeah. Can yeah, I feel yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, so what speed is that? Is that the lowest order? Yeah, that's the that's lowest. The lowest. <laughs> okay. And then it's just yeah. there. And it's got different. It's got different pulses. Yeah. Basically, so that does feel good. Okay, yeah. go one up for me. I want to feel what seven feels like. <laughs> the maximum. And how much is this? Oh shit! Okay. That's thirty four ninety nine. It's a proper rhythm as well, you know. It's like <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't know this what it's doing. <laughs> How so much so imagine work? that now, Sasha. Imagine that all over your body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your nipples. Yeah, you know. yeah, turn it off, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and sorry, what I was going to say as well. The good thing about that particular item here, yeah, is that it's so discreet that mm. you wouldn't actually know that it's a sex product. So I've gone speak. so high. Boy, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you so you can leave it on your mantelpiece, yeah. Yeah. If you like, on your bedside cabinet, anywhere. Yeah, put it in your handbag, you know, it's, it's quite tight. Yeah, in your handbag. And how much did you say this was? That's thirty four ninety nine. Thirty four ninety nine. You got different colours or is it just Just that colour at the moment. Yeah, okay. but it also comes in purple. Purple, well, really. yeah. Purple. Yeah. Okay. Um so yeah. what's your favourite piece? Um, my favourite piece, to be honest with you, I don't have a favourite. I I'm I'm quite adventurous, so I go for We what, like adventurous. What, yeah, I go okay. for whatever whatever fits the moment. 
That's, that's what I would particularly okay. say. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I have a favorite piece. And again, with our products as well, what we try to introduce and obviously mm. um, advise people yeah. is that why using, maybe it's a product for a female mm -hmm. or a product for men. You know, like yeah. so we have some products specifically for men. So, for example, the cock ring. Where's the cock know? ring? Yeah, I the saw cock that. Ring oh, yeah, there's yeah. one there. This one's got a camera on that one. All right. Yeah. So, yes, for example. It's got a camera. Like, can you yeah. add. You lot need to go on the website so you can see what I'm seeing because I'm not going to get up out of the bed <laughs> and none again. But yeah, seriously, you guys need to check their website out, which is, what's the website? The website is www.worldofrisque, spelled W-O-R-L-D-O-F, risque, spelled R-I-S-Q-U-E, dot co, dot U-K. And if you've been following on In Bed With Sasha on the page, you will see I've tagged them plenty of times, so you can just click on their Instagram and check them out. Um, so let's talk a bit more about the cock ring. Um, okay. Alright, yeah, so for example, so this is a cock ring. Mm -hmm. Cock ring, their purpose basically is, obviously goes on the men's cock. Um, <laughs> and what it does, it actually squeezes the pressure, basically, on the men's penis, basically. So okay. what that does then, it obviously mm. keeps their erection for a longer Long period of time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because the ring, basically, around the top of the cock, mm -hmm. is there to keep it firm, so to yeah. speak. Right. Yeah. But with this particular one, which, mm -hmm. is, which is, again, one specifically within our range, yeah. um, it's actually got a camera on it. Why? And the reason for the camera is that you can actually see, you can record your sexual experiences. experiences yeah. And okay. you can give it to your friend or your partner. Well, not your friend, sorry. Maybe not your, friend. <laughs> <laughs> your, your partner, basically. Okay. Yeah, you, you can share that experience with your partner by having it recorded. So it okay. actually records, and then you can play it back on your phone. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so that's, that's the purpose okay. of this one. And you did say before that you don't close as well, so you do some yeah, lingerie Yeah, we've got some well. lingerie here. Yeah. And we've got um, some Christmas ones that we've got in. Yeah, how much are these? That one is, I think that one's twenty four ninety nine. that one. Yeah. yeah. And this one's sixty four ninety nine. Okay. That one's a nice red sashy one. I love mm -hmm. this one. Okay. I love red. Okay. So you love this over that one. Yeah. Cool. And, and again, what I would say, Sashi, in that regards as well, is that all of our products, you know, mm. are for people who are listening in, People, yeah. people can actually go on our website and yeah. um, all of our products are there available on the website as well. But we thought we'd bring a few yeah. in for yourself so that you can just get a, a, a brief example yeah. of what we basically yep. do. And talking about bringing a few in, we do have a goodie bag for a lucky winner, yeah. um, which we're going to announce at the end of the show. Yeah. World of Risky, Karen and Steve yeah. are going to choose the winner. I'm not involved. Okay. I'm not involved. They're going to choose the winner right. right here. So there's still time for you guys to join in. If you're on my Instagram, you know, you need to go back to the third post for the day yeah. and caption those two pictures for your chance to win. The best caption win. Like, it's easy. You lot are always typing. Type and win something <laughs> exactly, today. Exactly. Okay? Um, Keep so, typing. <laughs> what I wanted to ask you, um, so we know you do lingerie. Yeah. We know you do these serious products yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, some of these, I don't see them in their high street, um, adult shop yeah it, because because again i think um we well, not if we brought the risk we specifically as karen said earlier on we've actually gone for bespoke items yeah items that are not on the high street mm -hmm. um artists you're not going to see in um yeah you know and so much for example or, or love honey so you give them a shout out they're going to thank you, <laughs> <laughs> you. we've gone yeah. for unique things that have yeah. done that's not you know like um different yeah different yeah. Yeah. and you different know? is good yeah but it's not just the products that you do you guys offer service which is what i found most interesting right. um so tell us more about so the we do we do um seminars so we do so at our seminars we do it once a month where we talk about all different types of topic um last month we talked about foreplay um we do uh workshops we do um parties we do um all different type of parties like birthday parties um we do um, collaborations and we do sponsors and we also have um, where we can have, you, you could become a consultant and sell products for, on behalf of us. You yeah. could become an agent. Yeah. Okay. Consultant. Yeah. So yeah. tell me more about the sex therapy sessions that you guys do. Okay. Uh, you want to say that, Karen? Oh, you do you don't mind? Yeah, yeah. So basically what it is, um, so we do seminars, as Karen said, and we do workshops. And the whole purpose of the workshop and the seminars yeah. is to give people a feeling. Mm -hmm. of you know our business basically is based on humans basically based on people you know mm -hmm. we always say without people there's no business basically yeah sure um so you know we we, we sort of direct it in that regards mm -hmm. to people yeah um and yeah so you know as Karen was saying so we have our workshops um we have our seminars 
And yeah. so what we do, we have open seminars. So we just basically have open discussions. Sometimes we get people to come in specifically for workshops mm -hmm. where people can sort of interact, um, ask questions. It's basically similar to a sort of class um, experience, if you like, yeah. a classroom experience. So when I think of sex therapy, I mean, educate me on this. I think of a session like, you know, the AA. They go in and say, hi, I'm Sasha and I'm yeah. an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. Do you have sex addicts that come to these sessions? And um, So far, to be quite frank, no one's actually come out openly and, and said so that, that there are sort yeah. of sex addicts in that regard. But saying that, yeah, yeah, yeah. again, you find there's, there's different types of people that we've experienced within the business. So, you, as you said, you get sex experts mm. or people who are addicts, so to speak. Right. You know? And those people would obviously come to our sessions. They're interested in what we do. Yeah. yeah? Um, and then you get another side of people which are not sex um, addicts, basically. Mm. And they would obviously come to our session to experience. Yeah, um, and get to learn and, more because it's and very educational what um, what we do. A lot of people, when we had a seminar last month, um, a lot of people came away and said, wow, they learned a lot from what what was talked about that night, um, that on that particular discussion, yeah. and like that, you know, and they got to learn about certain things um, about their bodies and, yeah. and things like that. So it's really educational, and you can come away, and it's and everybody's. We've not had a bad uh, word person say anything about us uh, mm. seminars. They've always come away and said that it's been great, it's been fun. You know, we've had people text us back and um, get back to yeah. us and said that they've had a good night and they had a really good night. Mm -hmm. on the, um, the <laughs> end of um, yeah. the session that they've had yeah. there, you know? And, and, and again, I'll just say to what you're saying there, Kerry, you know, like, um, when you come to the seminar, you know, you, 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 because, of, because of the service that we're providing, yeah. as Karen said, someone called us on contact us and said, yeah, they had a wicked night and they actually, end, they actually ended up having sex based on mm -hmm. the, the night. Or, yeah. or the night that we saw. So that's basically what it's about. It's basically about giving people that feeling. And what we say as well, we say within World of Risk is that it's mind, body Blue and soul. soul. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got the mind basically, which is our seminars, our workshops, our events and so on and so forth. Yeah. And then, and then you have the, the body. Um, the body which is the product Products. base. So that's yeah. where we sort of direct it at the products that you use. And the soul come from the aspect of the whole oh, experience. The whole basically. thing together. Yeah. So put we, together. We, we think of the business within that sort of mind, body and soul concept. So I think that sex education is essential. It's not just something that, you know, when you're in school, you should do sex education. I feel like throughout adult life, you sh it's you something that you should constantly definitely. be yes, on. Definitely. But definitely. you do have some people who might be saying, I know how to have sex. I don't need to go to sex therapy or I, mean, I don't need to yes. get in touch with this in how do you yes. attract people like that right have you got a, a way that you pull those people in because i feel like they're the people that will benefit well, well I'll, I'll tell you something as you say there as well again based mm. on our ethos and this is something that we thought about when we actually created the business yeah yeah, yeah? that you, you do you get many people as you said Sasha, that you know mm. they say oh we don't need toys or we don't mm. need this or but we will do we, we all need that adventure because you know, in, in any sort of situation, it gets it becomes stagnant after a while. Right, in a, right. Any situation becomes stagnant. So, yeah. for, for us as a company, the, the services that we provide is there to enhance, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know, it, it's basically there to keep the flame burning. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. it's uh, fun. You know, it's all about having a bit of fun. You, you know, messing about, even if you've never used it before. It, it's it's you know, it's a bit of fun between you and your partner, or even if yourself, you get to learn. I mean, we we've always said that we, if someone's a novice of not using a vibrator. We'll show them and explain how to be, to use it. Yeah, it's things like that. So we yeah. encourage you. We encourage people try before you knock it. Okay. Uh, uh, one other thing, sorry to cut you. Yeah, one other thing I would say as well in, in that same sort of sentence, going falling from yourself, is that our ethos is love needs action, mm -hmm. and there's no love without action. I like that. I got yeah. I, I got that from your page. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I like that one. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. is, that is basically our ethos. Love yeah. needs action, and there's no love without action. So we are here as a company to actually to put. put, put action into, into love, love yeah. and so by doing so we have our our concept of, yeah you know events say that anymore. again for those in the back say yeah. again. <laughs> so we say again so we say love needs action and there's no love without action and okay. we are here we're the risky mm -hmm. as a company to put action into love, love. we do it by as i said again by providing our services by yeah. providing our events by providing our seminars mm -hmm. um yeah and, and we like people to obviously to Get in tune, basically. Get in tune with himself. So that's where yeah. it starts. You know, it all starts within your mind. I've within got a question yourself. for you. Do mm -hmm. men feel intimidated by the toys? Um, they do. They do. I'm, I'm a bit hesitating yeah. to be honest with you because I find that they do. That's right. Okay. Um, 
and again, what we try and encourage them, you know, mm -hmm. and again, this is why we have both myself and Karen yeah. in the business, so that you have a, a male aspect mm -hmm. or perspective so, from the business, right. mm -hmm. and you also have a female perspective from okay. the business, basically. Mm -hmm. So from a man's perspective, as I said earlier, when you asked me what's my favourite toy, mm. I don't actually have any particular, that's my, me personally. Yeah. Uh, and I try and encourage men as well to actually feel that same way, or to try and have an open mind, yeah. basically, yeah. you know what I mean? So even if there is a toy for a female, or the majority of toys are for females, I would it say. Is, they yeah. actually made for females. Yeah. We encourage men to use, use the it. toys with the female. Yeah. You know, so a toy that's designed specifically for a female, play with, mm -hmm. play with the toy with a female. So in regards to the question, yeah, yeah. Men, men do feel a bit intimidated, but us as a company, we try to encourage them and to explain. play with the toys yeah. and, make, and make, it, make it a dual thing. So you okay. enjoy it with your partner. Yeah. All right, well, um, that's all we've got time for, for yeah. you guys right now. Later okay. on, I'm going to ask you to come back to help me no choose problem. a winner yeah. mm -hmm. for the giveaway for the goodie okay. bag. No okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure there's some captions that you guys can be running through. Roll and there. let us know who the winner is. Yeah. Okay, All right, okay. guys, don't forget, you still have, like, what, 20 minutes Keep to enter the competition. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, happy. yeah, Keep bring your bring your best caption <laughs> over <laughs> for a goodie bag from World of Risque. All right, well, Excellent. thank you guys so yeah, much, no and I'll see you shortly. Sorry, okay. Okay. All right, people that's on my Instagram live, don't forget that the link in my bio is a very useful one. Click on it and join me on StreamYard, where you can actually be on the screen and you can take part in what's going on right now. Make sure you're decent, although we're not too bothered. If you don't be decent, that's your problem. I'm just warning you that there's a camera. The mic will be muted, um, so you, we won't hear what you have to say unless we ask you for your opinion or we feel like we need your opinion. All right? Okay, now I'm going to call up my special guest. Um, her name is Trisha, and she's the CEO of Viva Choice. Trisha. Let's have a conversation. Hello. Hello, darling. How are you? I am okay. Someone said try to join, but it's not working. The link isn't working. Production. We're on to it. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. So how are you? How are you? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I absolutely like love this. This, this is, is like. Part of my company. Yeah. My company. I love it. Um, I could just wear this. With um, yeah. This is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Just wear it with nothing. Yes, yeah, nothing. Absolutely. Because you, I believe you can't have a piece like this and have something covering it. You see, especially with the way our camera is, it's kind of, it can't really pick up. You're losing it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but if you have nothing, because it's going to be a ta -ta, so it? It's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, huh? Is that the sign language? Just send me a text. <laughs> Okay, obviously I've asked you to join me here today because, um, link, yeah, peop there's no sound on that link, thank you for that, <laughs> there's no sound, we're sorting that out at the minute, um, yeah, so I wanted to ask you a few questions because you know what it is, mm. I feel like I needed to speak to somebody that was different from my previous guest, okay. in a sense of, I wanted to talk to a professional business woman. Yeah. A woman that, you know, in my eyes, a lot of men would find intimidating to date. I don't know if you would agree with that, yeah. but that would be my question to why, you. Why do you say that though? Because you're independent, right. you're successful, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of men shy away from that. Yeah. They're intimidated by that. My opinion, I don't know, maybe you're it's gonna tell me something different. Actually, okay, yeah, so tell me like more that. about that. Um, I think it's, I think when you're growing up, no one really tells you to look inside yourself to understand who you are as a person. Right. Um, to love yourself, to know your mind. No one don't really tell you that. Mm -hmm. So you have to just go through life and discover it. And I think with men, they are kind of taught to, you know, be the man. Yeah. Um, which means they're in charge. So sometimes it, it can come across like if a, a female's strong and independent, they can find it emasculating, but mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, it just means that in life you have to just go through. Things mm -hmm. happen, and mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean. Anything can happen in life, and sure. if you ain't got a man there, what are you gonna do? Just sit down and die, or yeah, just, and starve to death. So you're gonna do what you have to do. And I think once you find, like, I don't think all men are like this, but right. I do mm. think once you find a man who's got a firm understanding of who he is as a person, 
then he doesn't find a strong woman. So you think what it is is that there are, there's a lack of self knowing who that they are as a person, why it then... I think there's a lack of... I think there is more of an expectation on men on how they are supposed to present. So mm, I think mm, it's mm. a society that yeah. makes men feel like they have to put on a facade. Like, not all men talk. If they're having an emotion, they think it's weak. Mm. Um, and then I think coupled with... A strong female sometimes that can mirror things to them that they don't necessarily want to see or not ready to see yeah so would you say that you're an opinionated partner um i tried to be as respectful as possible in my forget opinions. respect <laughs> forget, <laughs> forget respect but i am i am opinionated but respectfully yeah, yeah. okay because i'm not going to talk to my partner in a way where i'm not going to want him to talk to me no, I understand that, but yeah. that's the thing. Even though you might feel as though you're trying to come across a certain way, they might still take offence to that. Yeah. Have that? Have you ever been um, in that situation before? And how do you deal with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I hope he's not watching. Um, but <laughs> as long as you don't say his name, I'm sure he's okay. I hope he's not watching. But um, I'll give you an example. I. Um, had a partner mm -hmm. and that gives that tells you what i've done yeah. um but my previous partner mm -hmm. he needed to buy a car yeah but he was also in a position where he needed to he, he could have gone for a qualification that would have made him have more money right in his workplace mm -hmm. but he opted for the car so he didn't respect because i thought well, dumb don't, decision don't invest okay. in the car invest yeah. in yourself and right then you can level up and then but it wasn't an opinion that was well received and I think if you choose a car over investing in yourself then yeah there's not much so what happened did you leave him then yeah. because of that <laughs> other things but like once I realized I'm not saying that you can't have a nice car and that you can't have nice things but, but priority you get to yeah. a certain age there's got to be priorities and yeah if someone's priorities are different from mine it doesn't necessarily make them wrong yeah but then you just have to figure out that that person's not on the same page as you i understand that you know yeah. What I mean? mm -hmm. so yeah. how do you find are you in a relate what's your relationship status right now i'm single but i've told so many people that i'm in a relationship so i've just blown up my whole spot no. um, <laughs> I've blown up my whole thing. <laughs> That's okay. You, you know when they wave at you in your Facebook, <laughs> I'm married. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, I'm single at the moment. You're single. Yeah. Do you find it um, difficult to date uh, being a woman that's um, independent like yourself? You know, um, do you find it difficult to find a man that is even your, evenly yoked to yourself? Um... I think that there are men that are even even out there because we've got some excellence in our race of men. Yeah. Um, but they're married. So okay. Do, do you know what I mean? I think the type of men that I would go for are already taken. So okay. I think that's why. My, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm not dating no one's man. I don't do that. So. Okay. Okay. So you're not dating. <laughs> <laughs> But you know okay. I mean? you just stay single. Okay, if, yeah. so I'm going to ask this question and like, don't crucify me if you don't throw a stone at me. Mm. So what I'm trying to, um, okay, so you know the type of guys that you like, you know the type of guys that float your boat and that will make you, you know, feel like you want to be in a relationship or whatever, right. but you find that they're taken. Mm -hmm. So... Why not try and like? How are you going to get your man basically if they're well, taken? <laughs> no, no. How are you going to? Because you, I mean, surely I believe that we're all put here. We we need to be. We're not put here to be alone. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Ultimately, I'm not saying that you need to be with somebody constantly. You definitely need to be in a relationship every time. Right. But we're not we're not built to be on our own. So are you telling me that you're just going to sit down and just be by yourself? No, I mean. I think it's just a matter of opinion. I think that mm. if you are on your own and it, cause I think for me, I take pride yeah. in being firm on my own and not making a relationship define me. So I'm not saying I don't want to be in a relationship, but when the right one comes along, it comes along. And, Do you think that's then, a turn off for men? Like a statement like that, that you just made? What's that? When you said, I believe that I could be firm in being by myself kind of thing. If you, if, 
like, I think there's a lot of people out there that relationships define them. Yeah, okay. And if they do not have a guy, mm. they don't feel complete. I hear or that. Or if they, they will sit down in bad situations, mm-hmm. um, knowing that the guy's cheating on them or abusive, but will stay there because of fear of being on your own. Yeah. And I think once you get to a stage, I mean, I've been through some things in my life. Mm-hmm. So I had three older brothers, they died. Mm. I've had relationships. I've my dad died. There's quite a few things that have happened that's forced me inside of myself, right, to pull my strength up to get through life. Because in life, things are going to happen. Sure. Do, do mm-hmm. you understand what I mean? Yeah. But if I then go through all of those things and then think, oh well, I ain't nothing unless I've got a man. Well, then what does that say about me? Yeah. So I'm not saying I don't want a guy, of course. You're not built to be alone, but at the same time, I think once you get to the essence of who you are as a person, it doesn't become the overwhelming factor in your life. Of course. You know, when it comes, yeah. it comes. Yeah, and, and if it, it doesn't come, you're not bothered? If it doesn't come, I'm not going to say that because I, okay. I believe in what you put out into the universe. Again, I do want to be in a relationship, but I want to be in a relationship that feeds my soul and I feed his. So, mm-hmm. it, yeah, if it, until that time comes, yeah, I'm cool. What's your definition of an independent woman? Definition of an independent woman, Mm. I think my definition of an independent woman is someone who, again, understands who she is as a person, what makes yourself tick. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you love yourself? I think understanding how your mind works and going for your your goals and your dreams, Mm -hmm. um, having money, Mm -hmm. having your own money, Showing kindness in your heart, yeah. Helping people wherever you can, um, yeah. Just empowering women, empowering men, empowering just empowering people and learning and growing as you go on. Because I, I don't think, I think a, a, a smart person is not going to feel like they know everything. You know that you're going to learn, of course, each and every day. Mm. So just having an open mind to learn. Do you believe that an independent woman um, should also be? depending on her man is is that is that even a thing can that be no i see we've had this debate because um we've got a group a group on facebook called um no and we we do a podcast yeah with world mac as well actually and um we've had this debate and a lot of men are saying that they want women to be women Mm -hmm. i.e. gender roles right so they want you to cook and they want you to clean and they want a clean house and Mm -hmm. they want their clothes washed and it's the general consensus yeah and i i don't see anything wrong with that Mm -hmm. if i think you know there's a lot of memes out there saying like women don't cook like grandma used to but then if you're paying bills like grandpa used to then we will cook like yeah clean (laughs) and and iron your shirt yeah 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 (laughs) you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so I think I've not got. I I do think you can still have a firm sense of who you are as a person in a relationship. Yeah. And I I don't see anything wrong with letting my man lead if he's an effective leader, and that doesn't take away my independence. Right. I hear that one hundred percent. Yeah. So being a woman, that's obviously you got your own business and stuff like that. Do you have a job outside of running your own business, or is that your no, um, my my business is my main job, but I do contract and do other things. Yeah. Okay. So I um at the moment I do analysis for companies that have got like rent arrears. So if their clients have got rent arrears mm-hmm. and it's a mess, I will go in and try to figure out yeah how they got into that mess and apportion which is what part of the money is our fault and which part of the money the clients are. Yeah. So it's yes. Yeah, a lot of statistical work. I love the fact that you're so firm in what you believe, but at the same time, you're open to listen to what absolutely. others have to say, etc. Yeah, um, I want to ask, I'm taking it to the bedroom now. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> um, so inside the bedroom, mm-hmm. is that the same persona that you have? You that mean? you're firm in what you're saying? Like, who leads in the bedroom? I'm not a bedroom bully. No. You're not? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, if I've enjoyed it myself, uh, you know what I mean? Then yeah, it, yeah. It's but I I like to I like the men to be in the bedroom bully. Okay, yeah. so out in the business world, you're the but in the bedroom, you're you just want you you do the thing. No, I would do my thing. Yeah, I know you yeah, would do I'll your do thing, thing, but you you give him but the. I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't know. I'm not. 
going to be, you know, like a, a porno star. I'm not going to be yeah, rubbing yeah. my tits and put it in my face. I'm not going <laughs> to do that. Do you, do you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so you think, you think that's porno like? So what's the most what, adventurous? Squirting in your face? I don't want that. Oh, no. I that's thought... why I said squirting. Rubbing oh, because you said squirting in my face. Come on. Oh, that. okay. So you're no. not on that. Yeah. No, I'm not on that. No. Mm -mm. So what's the most adventurous thing that you've done in the bedroom? The most adventurous thing I've done. Yeah. Oh, can I plead the fifth? No, you can't plead the fifth. <laughs> Not in this bed. Like, you know, you can't. Like, um, uh, I haven't. Everyone I, here has done something. Trust but, me. You know, oh, I've, 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 I do most things. I just don't do anal. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't do squirting in the face or the mouth. <laughs> you got that, a problem with the squirting? Nah, I just can't. Okay. I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, I will cry. <laughs> If you swear in my face or my mouth, I'd cry. Yeah. Um, I'd literally cry. Really? But, and I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> what about on your breast? Can they squirt yeah, on your breast? Can squirt on my breast. Okay, they okay. Can do all of that. But no anal, no squirting in the face or mouth. And other than that... Okay. Yeah. Have you had a threesome before? Well, uh, I, I ran up my mouth and said that I would. And yeah. then when it come to it, <laughs> I chickened the fuck out. I chickened out. Really? Yeah, I was a little bitch. I yeah. Yeah. Do you think you'd want to try that again another time? Or? I think I'd find two men too intimidating. Yeah. Um, Is that what it was that time, two men? No. Okay. No, I, I, no, I just wouldn't do it. Cause yeah. I just think I'd get swallowed up. Um, yeah. But with a woman, I think... See, my mind mm -hmm. thinks that it's hip and would, would like to do It's cool, it's in trend. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when it comes to actually munching the carpet, I don't know if I can. Okay, but you know you don't actually have to do that. The girl can do that. Yeah. You know, you, you can yeah. be a receiver. Yeah. You're up for that? Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> say no. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm not vomiting. But you're just mouth, not in the... I've just not done it. But, yeah. and again, I think it's about finding people who are respectful. Mm. Um, I don't, like, I, there's not a lot of guys that I meet and be like, oh, I think he's sexy, I think he's sexy. It, it's a vibe. I'm a vibes person. I want to ask you a question, because mm. I had this question thrown at me the other day, and they say I'm lying. Right. When you see a... Have you seen a guy, and you just think, I would sleep with that guy? Has that ever happened to you? A lot less now, but it has happened. Okay. So you've never met a guy? No. And I meet him, I've seen him, and say, I want to have sex with him. Not what, lying. there and then? Or... Not that you want to have sex with him there and then, but well, in your head, you think, I would sleep with him. Yeah, of course I've met Okay, I'm trying that. to find somebody that thinks... I don't know, because I'm like, is it... No to me, it's normal, because I've I'd never felt like that. Right. But you're saying that you felt like that, like you've seen a guy and you wanted... And, yeah, and, and fancied them, absolutely. Yeah, but I've seen people and fancied them, but then to think I'm going to have sex with them is different. Oh, like, so you make it your mission to go and have sex with that guy? Or you can just visualise you having sex. I don't know. It's just sex isn't the thing that's on my mind when I see something that I'm someone that I'm attracted to. Okay. Oh, my God, <laughs> Leslie. Why is it money? Because we know it's money that's on their mind. Any woman who's feeling can't see a man out there and say, damn, he's sexy, I would go out. He looks like somebody that would be put in bed. It don't mean, okay, we'll see you today. We'll sleep with you. Well, then yeah. I must not be a woman then. That heart thing look all right, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're you're the risk heart you, thing. you wanna feel what it feels like? See, Leslie, yeah. it's leave me alone. Boy. Boy. I feel trish. <laughs> I can't even talk. You, you wanna feel it? No. What? So what you have to answer? Put it down here, sir. Oh my nipple, hang on. No, your nipple in here, sir. Trish. <laughs> 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 These are people them products in the in the. Oh, this is a tester. How's it feel? It feels alright, isn't it? Try no. Sasha. Let me see if it's that. Go on, Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Wait. Top speed. Top speed. Sasha, you know you have a question. Wait, is this top speed? Wait. Watch him then, Fiat. Watch him, Fiat. <laughs> no. No. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with you. <laughs> it does feel good. But how do you turn it off? Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a whole bag of um, variation. Yeah, yeah so side. the rhythm, like, yeah. 
these these kind of things don't make it dull either, man. This is more my thing. Like this would mean <laughs> this would make because I do like to play games, yeah, and I can imagine what's on these cards. Well, I can't imagine, but you know, like you don't know what's coming, and then it might be a position that you have to get into. Like those are the things that, yeah. Turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Wait, have, have you used toys before? Yeah. 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 So have you ever had like an embarrassing moment with toys? Because just now when that went off, I'm like, imagine you're at work, you're in like the office. Why would and I have this in the office? Why not? Because for the embarrassing moment that you're just about to mention. If I have these things, I'm having them in my handbag. Really? Yeah. You sit at your desk and just... Oh, you mean? <laughs> Think about it. That's the whole, like, like your boss just talked to you, he pissed you off. You're like, do you know what? Give it to your boss as a gift, maybe they'll lighten up. <laughs> yes, my G. I've never seen I a guy and think that so. She, but no, oh, no <laughs> she's my friend. Yeah, but, uh -huh. but I mean, that's why she says so. I swear down. You see, you see guys and think. I do yeah. see guys and think, yes. You've you never know. seen a guy and I said, shot. he's sexy, I wonder if... No, he's sexy, that's it. Not, I wonder what he'd be like, because some of them might look good and shit in bed. Yeah, but still, sometimes... But that's what I'm saying, I bet if them come with the food, she'll be like, yes. Sheldon, really? <laughs> <laughs> Now the food's a different story. Uh -huh. That's my love language. Okay. So food. yes. Anybody out there want Sasha? <laughs> carry her to a seafood place. <laughs> Don't cook it. Just take her to a seafood place and you get her in bed. <laughs> oh. Is that right, Leslie? Let me just <laughs> take just take me to a seafood place and they get me in bed. Did you yes. did you hear this? I heard that. Uh, oh, this I laugh. Don't laugh, because Leslie don't know what she's speaking about. I love food, but food does not mean that my legs open, okay? It just means that my ears open up and I'll entertain you. <laughs> no, not the legs, because then most time I'm full and I just want to sleep. want to sleep. So what is your love language? Mine is food. Like, food does it for me. Food is... Like, I chose food over sex the other day and they had a go at me, saying I've got issues, and I really don't think I've... Because I've never like had a plate of seafood that i've regretted but you know some sex is just like i wish this shit never happened you know what i mean <laughs> don't even declare it yeah um what's my love language i think acts of service is my love language okay just do what you say you're gonna do mm. and that just instills confidence in me yeah so yeah because i took a test the other day a love language test yeah it was a quiz and that's what they said acts of service so it was like gifts it was questions around gifts mm. and people's word if someone and i chose more or less the pattern of word if you say you're going to do something do it yeah and then that tends to be so, so what happened if a person so they are not, they had all the intention of doing what they say that mm -hmm. they were going to do mm -hmm. and it happened on more than one occasion like they said it but something happened and they can't do it Would yeah that's something you want from that person <coughs> It depends if there's if there's valid reasons because I am a businesswoman as well. So sometimes you can things can run over. Anything can happen in life. But if I, if I detect that you're just being flaky, then that, yeah, that's going to be a turn off. But even if they're not being flaky, yeah, and it's it's a genuine thing that they had good intention, but like two, three, four times, then you you I'm not important to you then. That's my point. That's the point right there. Yeah. I don't care how good your intentions were. If you can't deliver, then, then that's I'm that's not fine. To you, and that's fine. Then Leslie, we're, we're not through, am I difficult? Because you think I'm a difficult no, person. No, I don't think you're difficult. Some points, yes, but this one I agree with you. Okay. If it keeps happening. This is what I'm asking. Because mm. sometimes you can understand. Okay, something might happen today. You have a good. But if every time you come, or most times you come with an excuse, bro, what's the, what's yeah, the point? Yeah, it's you're, I'm not important to you. Yeah. 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 If somebody else is important. You're gonna call me back or text me. Even the little things annoy me. I'm waiting on a text. You know, text me, but then. No, 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 no. Obviously, it was important. We talked about 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you want to hear a man voice as you wake up, and when you go to bed, a man voice will have to be here. Jizam, Jizam, Jizam. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have children? No. Okay. Do you believe that, I asked this question last week, but I wouldn't ask you, um, that all men should 
do DNA test standard. I've never been asked that. Like, <laughs> what? Trisha, Trisha, stop. <laughs> no, I, because I think if you are in a relationship with a marriage with a long you should know your partner, so not necessarily. But, no, I don't. You don't think it should be standard? Because I think if I was with my guy mm. for years and I had a kid for him and then come out to me for doing the DNA test, I'd be offended. I'm glad that, because I was trying to find somebody that differs from what we said, because we were saying that it should be standard, so I'm glad that you feel yeah. that way. Mm. So, yes, okay, you've been a person for years. We are sure as a woman that a child is ours, yes? Yes. We are 100% sure. Yeah. Have you never seen a child that looks like a man or the man's family? And this man is paying off for this child. And say, for example, like they need a DNA, they, something happened and they need blood or something, and then this man realized that this child is not theirs. To so say that was your brother, how would you feel? Even though. You My know, brother's supposed to know who he's sleeping with. Yeah, but it's so not if you if you you're sleeping with somebody that is going to dip out on you and that you have to request a DNA test, but then it's not about that them sleeping out on you. It's about sometimes as women, mm -hmm. where we make mistakes and we might not be sure of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So I could be in a relationship and the relationship break up. Mm -hmm. I meet somebody and sometimes some things get tricked. Do you know who your baby father is, though? No, no, no. I think happened because it didn't really know where it was. So for example, I could break up with a person the early part of this month, right. depending, or in the middle, depending on where my um, ovulation period might fall, I have had sex with that person. Yeah. Um, so for example, go to drink meet somebody, you know, not boy, just in case. And I end up having, you know, you end up having sex. <laughs> yeah, that person continue in a relationship, and it's been, you know, but things happen. All right, so you, you slipped up. You might not be sure. You right. might not be sure, but you thinking, okay, I think it should be standard, not just because of that, like yeah. you could have been an accident or whatever, but I just think in general it makes it because, like you said, the woman knows 100% is her child. Yeah. Do the DNA test, even if there's no doubt. I think that yeah. just do a DNA test because they're cheap anyway. Do a DNA test, let's just get on with it. Do you know what I mean? There you go. They mm. will turn around and say, it's not my child. Mm -hmm. If it's automatic that they have to have a DNA, because you know when a child is born, a father, unless you're married to them, don't have any legal rights to the child, mm -hmm. unless that father's name is on the birth paper. You know this. Yeah. Right? Right. Okay. So, really and truly, if you do a DNA, I think it should be mandatory that before a birth, name go on a birth paper, you have a DNA, yeah. you know that child is yours, you need to take up that responsibility. So there's no going back and forth if you don't take up your responsibility, the law have the right to say, this child is proven yours, you need to do what you need to do. And in saying that, you also have men that know that the child isn't theirs, but it's okay with going on the birth certificate. Yeah, so, exactly. two different things. Um, so, Sean Bless says, no DNA, it's the love that counts. And that's, I think that's a man. I'm quite shocked. Sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I think if you know, because like, the, the first, the second scenario that you mentioned, I, I do see that as a point. But the first scenario, I'm like, you should know who your baby father is and not embarrass yourself. I 
I believe that. You know, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, From the father, a person is willing to stand up to the plate. Why do a DNA test? That's okay. cool. That's different. But, then, but when things happen, they're the first one to jump up and, and make comments that oh, it's not his and it's still not the money. And also for the child no, but he's saying that he's saying that from the father is okay. So say the father won't bring up that, but like you just said, from the child's point of view, because a lot of people go and they say this is your dad, but do you let that child know that that's not their biological exactly. father? Because you have some kids saying I, I, I'm not, I don't. I'm doing this, but it's not your trait, mom. It's not dad's trait, and some people feel lost. Some kids, that's why you find some kids walking around looking lost, like because you're a jacket, but you just don't know it. And I think that's that's <laughs> child abuse in itself, personally. I think. You're a jacket, and you just don't know no, it. No, but for real. Wow. Okay. No, I think so, mm. um, and I believe, like I said, that's child abuse in itself. I want to ask you. Um, I, this question was posted on the review. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's a page that does quite a few memes about relationship, etc. And they ask this question, mm. um, and I want to know. I want to talk about this. Has anyone or any man ever said to you, "You look like trouble," or "You're trouble"? Yeah. What the, What does that mean, Sheldon? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hmm? I want Sheldon to answer me. Watch him today. You're quiet. Go on. Tell me. No. No, don't. When I see you, I like you about the short thing. It's my problem. Is this possible for time? What does it mean? Oh, He's like, you woke me up for this shit. Oh, good. Mikhail, but I'm Leslie. What does it mean when a man says to a woman, you're, 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 you look like trouble? Yeah. Uh, it, it could mean a different variety of things. Um, mm. Yeah, it could mean a different variety of things. It could be, like, for example, you could look like trouble with your persona, there, for example. I don't know, you may come across, like you said earlier, you may come across as quite stern. Mm. Um, it, and, and trouble is, again, trouble is a word that could be trouble, meaning, like, you know, you're, you're trouble, trouble, you're hard to deal with, trouble. Yeah. Or you could mean Boy, you know, you're like a handful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say that kind of in Because I've had... Um, go on. Yeah, I don't know. Trouble, trouble, like you say, trouble could mean hard to deal with. Yeah. Like, it's it's hard to run game on, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you look like you're going to be hard work. I've had that. Yeah. I got you know, some I, people... I'm not going to be a puppy show. That means I I'm asked trouble. it on my Insta, and I got some people give me some answer, but one person in particular, I'm not going to say his name, he gave me like seven different reasons right. as to why... Um, obviously my phone's over there, but I'm going to try to remember it. Um, one, it could be that um, he's got a woman, but he wants to get involved with you, but you look like you can rock shit up. Um, <laughs> Mass up the dolly ass, or yeah. you've got a man, and, you know, the other way around. Also, you look like the type of person that will bring out the freakiness in him. But, but Leslie, I know that Leslie knows something. <laughs> um, and also, you look like you you are the freak and um some other things he said about seven or eight and i thought i appreciate that yeah so i'm i'm more inclined to go with them one there mm -hmm. you see the ones that you were saying about trouble i don't think they mean because when they say it, they look at you with some different kind of eyes like sheldon's looking at us over here <laughs> you see how sheldon look power here see <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I look good and boy, baby, you look like you're putting me in a trouble because you're going to run the annual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, you look like trouble and like I've got a problem with you in a bed, like you're going to give me a run to the money. Yes, yes. But normally when I ask, those are the responses. Somebody says to me, you look like you're trouble. So, let me ask you this, sorry, you say that. So, when a woman says to a man, so when a woman says to a man, you look like trouble, what, what's the woman? I've, I've never said that. Never said that. that like, Have you ever said that to a man? Let me say that generally. Let me say no, that. generally. Really? You look Look like you got enough girl. Yeah. Like, mm. yeah.
Um, sex mm. review. Mm. Um, have you ever? Do you? Would you like a sex review? Would I like a sex yeah. review? Yeah. Like after sex, you want a review, oh, like. I no, not necessarily. I mean, you don't have to say it straight after the episode, but you know what I mean? Like, oh, this goes for this go out, what could I go best and stuff like that? Yes, man, go on to Shama, you don't know what I like, one sex review. Would I like a sex review? Or do you see them as a turn off, or he's trying to tell me what to do, or he's trying to say I'm not good, or like. They usually just drop asleep, and that's my review. But, but yeah, even, the next, matter, even the next day or something, like, in general, because you know what it is. Mm. Like with the sex therapy talk that we were just having a minute ago, right. sex is more than just okay. We're gonna have sex and that's it. Mm. Yeah. At the end of it, you want to know that you've done what you. Oh, uh, some people do. Some people don't give a shit. Some people yeah. just want to bust a nut and then they move on. But don't you know if you? Uh, this is a question for the men. Mm. Can men fake orgasms? Yes. <laughs> she say yes. yes. Steve, can men fake orgasms? Yes. 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 Really? So you guys pretend that you're enjoying yourself and you're not? It's, it's possible men to do it. Uh, yeah. it oh, that's worrying. <laughs> Why would they go through that? Why, Steve? To, to, to fulfill the, the, the experience, basically, isn't it? Okay, I'm, I'm here, that one. Okay, well then, based on that, yeah, I probably would need a review. Because yeah. you, <laughs> you think you're doing a good yeah. job, but apparently they're fake. And you wouldn't take offence to having a sex review? Yeah, but then again, if you're going to be saying that you want anal sex and you can have as much reviews as you like, it's not happening. Huh? I said, again, if, <laughs> if you said to me, I want to, part of my review is that I think it would make it better if we had anal sex. Okay. That's your opinion. You can have your review, but... Because that's a deal breaker change. for you. You're not interested in... For me. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, you could take constructive criticism, but if it's outlandish things that you want, that I'm just not in there. So you don't want the dick in your butt, no. but what if he wants something in his ass? I'm not that girl, you know. Yeah. No. I've heard, like, I've heard of it. I've heard mm. of... Um, <laughs> You've heard of it. Yeah. Uh, some people say to me, you don't know, you're missing anal sex. is brilliant. It's yeah. near to your G-spot and, mm. you know what I mean? It's it's really pleasurable and that, that's great, but I don't think it's going to be pleasurable for me. Mm. And then I think if I was to sit ramming something up my guy's ass. It, that would be emasculating, in my opinion, to mm-hmm, him, mm-hmm. I think. So, no, I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. I wouldn't want a man that's going to want me to... What does it do, Steve? No, I would just say basically. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I may use some... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I would just say basically, I think, you know, again, again, from, from, from my perspective, I don't come to you know, do what I think it's just that people sometimes channel their minds. They put their mind in boxes. Mm. Right. Sometimes people put their minds in boxes. When, when, when life, life shouldn't Give be the like, mic, Leslie. Life, life shouldn't be like that, basically. And, you know, <laughs> sometimes when I say that, we, we have these thoughts that we say, you know, yeah, we wouldn't do this or we wouldn't do that. But There's three maybe, things maybe, that maybe. I've mentioned I wouldn't do. Squirting in the face and mouth, anal sex, and now I'm saying I wouldn't want to be ramming something up my guys. Well, uh, I think... Okay. I have that I need to be putting anything... My mind is well open, but... Sorry, if I have a man and his pleasure is me putting something up his ass, then you need to be with a woman, he needs to be with a man. And there's no point pretending that you're into women, if that is the case, because, okay, whether I agree with gay or whatever, it's legalized, live your life how you are comfortable. Absolutely. Do not Do you. put people in a position that... Um, is going to make them uncomfortable, make them embarrassed or anything like that. Yeah. If that is what you are into, do what you are into. Yeah. I am open to certain things. I'm not open to that. I'm sorry. Yeah. But what if he, he's into anal sex? He doesn't necessarily in that he doesn't need to be a woman. He could be bisexual. No, no, no. This is what I just said. That's a good question, though. Would if you date was, someone who's bisexual? Well, not me, personally, no. Is, but, okay, so I have a friend hmm. um, that when I met him, um, I liked him, nice looking guy and everything, mm. and I was kind of in between thinking, is it that he's going at me? Because one minute it looks like he's all up into me, the next minute, I mean, we've never had any sex, but, and one day, he said to me, okay, he likes me and all, but he needs to be honest with me, I guess most people didn't realize it. Yeah. He said to me, go both ways, so he needs me to know that, right. but if I'm not comfortable with that, then obviously... You know, 
I wasn't comfortable with that. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, but I was comfortable and I respect him. Right. Because at the end of the day, I knew then what I would have been getting myself into. One hundred. Yeah. yeah. A lot of men that are bisexual or gay, whatever it is they are, mm. they do not want to, especially, I guess, if they are black, even if they are not black, but, you know, especially, they don't want to admit it because I think the society have a, a way of, yeah. society say you need to be this way yeah. and that way, so let's pretend, let's know that this is what we really enjoy, what we going to yeah. And I don't think that's fair on another, that's true. Yeah. on a female or anything like that. You know? Okay. So personally, I think if that's just what do you, you do, yeah. You either be straight up with a person and let them decide that if they know what they're getting into, or you just do what you do and leave people out of your place. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to respect the thing over there. You don't need to push it on me. If I'm not into that, I'm not into that. So that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. I'll agree. just read some que- um, comments quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, the only Mika said, "Left him. Any man, what can take it in the rear end shouldn't be with a woman." Yeah. Somebody said, definitely, I agree. Right, he's a batty man. I agree as well, he's gay. Um, so, there's no in-between, it seems. I find that when I speak to a lot of, um, well, not a lot of, some black people, particularly Jamaicans, there's no in-between for the men. Women can be bisexual, but for men, you're not bisexual, you're gay. There, mm. There's no excuses, they just want to say, you're a batty man. Do you understand? Um, do you find that you hear that a lot, like, because you obviously, you do your thing, mm amongst white people or non-black people do you hear them throwing out these words at somebody who says they like to exper- experiment no, with their ass and stuff no. no 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 and uh, again it's not me saying that i don't want to do anal is because i don't think it will be pleasurable to pleasurable to me doesn't necessarily mean i'm judging anyone oh but what if you think it would be pleasurable what if one day like you get a little sometime it slip out and then it reach you and then you decide oh no. that's so kind of no. <laughs> You're not interested in none no. at all. Leslie, why are you not interested in anal sex? It's not my thing. I don't think that that is what my career end was for. It's not something I think I would enjoy doing. Mm. I don't think that's what I feel where I am in my thing. I've seen too much. Definitely don't want it. That's not something that entices me or really interests me. Yeah. Mm. What about you? No. No. Not at all. Straight yeah. Yeah. But um, I don't put that down to if a guy wants that, that he's gay, I feel like some people are just way adventurous apparently and some people are bisexual. I don't think then yeah. you're straight gay. No. A- apparently, it, it's, you know, like I've heard of people putting fingers up guys' yeah. ass and mm. they like guys. Some guys like that. And if it floats your boat, it floats your boat. I mean, mm. to each their own. I'm not here to judge nobody. But for me, like I said, those are the three things. Me sticking my finger up your bum and then taking it out and no. <laughs> what? Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you doing this? You're going to naturally do that. No, I just don't want to do it. So, um, okay, Trisha, so just you sit on your finger. Do you know what I mean? You wouldn't finger a man. No. And Sasha, you probably have the proper terminology for this. So, would you allow a man to perform oral sex on you but keep your rear end? Is that what it's called? It's so Colalingus. Oh, oh, God. Same to the rear end. Huh? Colalingus um, is when they um, go down and you put. See, that's actually happened to me. Um, but did you enjoy that? It tickled. <laughs> it tickled. Wait, what happened? He just so he got a little. Sex, was he, he was eating the rear end. But well. not. So you ate the front and the back. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, he kind of lost his wow. way and he tickled. And he, he lost his way. How he? he, he back. <laughs> you believe that he slipped? No, he was testing my <laughs> But you liked it. I didn't hate it. So that's what I'm saying. So how then can you not tell? How then can you say that you don't think that you'll find anal sex pleasure? I'm not. I'm, I'm not trying to convince you. A tongue, and okay, yeah. all right. Because I've had a guy said this to me before that he won't have anything in his in his ass but a tongue, and we're having but we're saying that you're still gay. Well, not me because I don't put people in gay box so quickly. Yeah, I don't believe in that. You either. know, but they're saying that you're still gay because there's something going in your ass. No. He wasn't stabbing my bum with his tongue, like, like yeah. he wasn't doing that. Um, but again, uh, you can't compare a, a tongue to a penis. Mm-hmm. You, you can't. You would smell the penis, so I wouldn't smell the penis. You know, Leslie, <laughs> Leslie, <laughs> get out of here. You know if you stick, you stick your finger up someone's bum, it's, you're going to immediately think that's going to smell. Like, yeah, yeah. but when you it's, smell that, I don't you see my 
No, but he's not sticking his tongue up my crack. Oh, you no, mean? yeah, well, it just lost his way. Why would you never wash your crack properly? They never expect that. You know, sometimes why would you have sex and not wash your crack properly? Like, what, what, what am I on? What show am I on? What is this? <laughs> this is a setup. <laughs> like, I demand a refund. <laughs> what? What is the weirdest thing a guy has ever asked you to do in bed? Stick a finger up the bum. And That's the weirdest it. one. Yeah, give me another it. one. I haven't really had anything that's as a, as a guy yeah. ever asked you for a golden shower before? Have you? No. No. no would you wouldn't. give? I wouldn't. What? No, I've got an expensive bed, a good bed sheet. You're Why not going to find a bed. Piss all over the bed. I'm not going to do that. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do it in the bed. It can be literally in the shower. Go on, keep talking. It's fine. No, no. I just... Like I say, to each their own, but I've never, no one's ever asked me that before, so I've never really had to think about it, but mm-hmm. I think you've lost your mic. Yeah. No one's never asked you that before. No. No. Can you hear me? Because I lost my mic for a second. Am I mic'd this? Is it, is it yours or mine? You can hear me, Sheldon. It's not my mic. What's the time? Are we, are we good for time? We're going to wrap up soon. Yeah, I need to know so I can get all the risky on. I need to know my time. Ten minutes. How long? Okay, cool. All right. What with me? So no, no, you're good. You're you're fine. Um, let's talk about being a side chick. Have you ever been a side chick before? No. Oh, not knowing me anyway. Cause Never went into it and said, hey, I'm going to be your side chick. No. So then maybe I'm the one that's been a bit um, thingy because I'm thinking that every woman has been a side chick before in her life, but you're saying no, you haven't. Not knowing never... me. There's been more than one woman in the relationship, but I wouldn't go... I, I'm a strong believer in karma, mm-hmm. so I don't... Not even in younger days? Like now you might have matured. No, no? I wasn't, no. Okay. I had three crazy brothers. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. not difficult enough getting a, a boyfriend, let alone being someone side chick and make that get back to my family. I was, my mum was very, from a young age, she always instilled in me, don't fight over guys. Yeah. Don't over phone them because if they want to talk to you, they'll call you. She's just always been, and I was the only girl, so I guess that's why she was always mm-hmm. quiet. So I'm not saying that I've not been in a relationship where there's been another party, but I've not gone into it knowing Okay. Does that make sense? But like, you have been a side chick before then, but just not, not that wasn't the plan. I never, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Never said, right, I'm going to go in and be the side chick. If someone's got a, a girlfriend and they neglect to tell you about that, does that make you a side chick? Yeah. You but just, not willingly. You yeah, did, you, just didn't, not, you just didn't know, but that was yeah. your position, you know? Oh, wait. Sorry. I need to... Okay. Check in with your guy, but if you call every minute, where are you? What you doing? Where are you? What you doing? Oh, yeah, that's it's annoying. Don't do that. Um, but going back to your question, no, it weren't my position because once I find out about the person, yeah, that's not. I'm not staying in that. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't say that that was my position at all. No. no. I'm single. Saying that I'm, that's my position. Yeah, but I think you were though. Even no, though you no, never no, went in there, is that that was your position? Yeah. And you need to understand that. Yeah. Right. Know okay. yourself. Know your place. Yeah. yeah. If I go into a relationship with you and you say to me you're single, you're in a relationship, and we're ready to start going on, and we are in a relationship. If you have a woman otherwise, mm-hmm. and I don't know what I don't know. Obviously, what I do when I find out, yeah. If yeah. you're the side chick or not. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. 
wife. So I'm going to save her their house and then I treat the one house and I go to your slave us to them. Mm-hmm. And when they go party, they go for Alice. They show up in with the girls, yeah. And the one where we call the side chick, I go, so listen, nobody know wife, nobody know side, but me decided me want to stay with you, I go for my business. Okay, yeah. so definitely. I've seen it. I've got a question. Sure. For the men as well. Do, do they, the person that they lie to and the person that they tell the truth oh to. Oh, God, I know. Which one is who, 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 who's, who's the person that they love? Which Men, you? answer the question. Yeah, what are you two? The woman will tell the lie to and the woman will tell the truth. Which one do you love more? Tell both parties. We know all you stay Sheldon. No, but I know that had a question. Sheldon, you're not allowed to answer because you have an option. Okay. You think the person they tell the lie to? I don't know. I really don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. Because I've lied to people that I love and I also told people the truth that I do love. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It's a hard one for have me you, to answer. Have you been a side chick? Yeah. No. Let me tell you, there's a time in a girl's life when that's the role that she wants to play. Okay? Because I... <laughs> I just don't feel like so at that time I wanted to be in that full relationship. Yeah, but I still wanted to be in that. She still wants her dicky dicky, but she didn't want to respond to So, the so okay, so is there ever a time as a side <laughs> chick where. <laughs> is there ever a time as a side chick where you don't get what you want? So, um, like, say you want to see him and he's like, I'm your wife for now. How does that No, 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 no. That's never happened. Um, I tell you what happened is. I'm half crazy, yeah. Oh. So, so <laughs> no, so it will be a cop, no, no, I am half crazy. So, obviously, uh. if I am the side chick, then you know exactly how I am, you know, my personality, full stop, right? I want what I want and I get what I want, especially, <laughs> no, especially because then you know what the thing is. I'm the type of person, so I did have a post coming up, like, on social media saying, what if you know that his ex was crazy, would you stay or whatever? I'm yeah. fucking staying. Like, I'm if staying, I want yeah. what I want, I want what I want. Do you understand? Yeah. I'm that type of person at that time that will go to your house and get what I want. So, okay. yeah. To his house. Wait, wait, you with the woman? Yeah, that one there. No, I'm not Yeah, so you'd go, would you, would you sleep with someone in the woman's house where they live? Okay, don't judge me, but shit, I've done that before. But <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Well. Yeah, no, my yeah, problem. I'm going to be Can make people I'm get killed that way. There you go. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at the same time, when all of that was happening, because I'm an I'm an adrenaline junkie, I was so much so back in the day. I'm not so much so that those things just gave me a buzz, like you know, oh. like being on the edge and all of these. Like not so much so because I'm. Not now you're calming down now. Yeah. So that's why I said that. <laughs> Turn up on my 
But that feud, you're different because you know how the way Sheldon is. Yeah, you remember. Yeah. They will bring the side chick in their house where they want. That's what I'm saying. So out of order. There you go, Sheldon. That's why maybe that wouldn't happen to you. And I probably back then. I I back then. Oh, yo. <laughs> I back then would not fuck with somebody like Sheldon because I know how he is. Yeah. You understand? So he, he does do he does nothing for me, so I wouldn't have done anything to because he doesn't feed that part of me, so I wouldn't be interested yeah, in him. There is why I wouldn't go into this. <laughs> like and and I don't want a guy that's like sensible like that at that time. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. A reckless man that's gonna bring her in the wife. No, no, that different, that different. No, 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 no. But back then, he have too much sense. Do you know what I mean? He knows like you're not coming to my house. You're not at my house. But these guys that would take you to the house, like I've had situation where I've been in the house that we, you know, broke the bed and shit. And obviously, I told her that we broke the like it was. I was young because it was an adrenaline shit. You don't understand. Of course you don't. No, hold on. I don't <laughs> agree with that. I no, I don't that, either. I honestly believe that if a man tell you that, listen, you know, you're not coming to my house, I'm going to be with you. And if he tell you that, listen, I'm going to be with you. No, I never tell him that. No, hold on. No, so, I so, say, well, so. how about you being a side chick? No, yeah, I'm but you never told me that, but that's what I'm saying. All right, so listen, mm. I am saying mm. I would never go to a woman, whether I'm in it, no, I'm in it, no, I'm in it, no, I'm in it, I am not. First and foremost, we never disrespect him in an external disrespect from an ex woman. Mm. I would never go out of my way yeah. to go through a word or go call an ex woman, go tell him, say this, because when yeah. the man did I look, maybe nobody come find out or go check my story. Yeah. The man did I give the right story. That's okay. I would never do that. That's I don't fine. Like women who are like that. But that's okay, Leslie. <laughs> that's fine, because you're going in there with your morals. <laughs> you never had no morals. <laughs> You know what I mean? Okay, You're going there with morals and principle. All I had was ego. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Fair enough, though. She's not, you know what I'm saying? She's not hearing what I'm saying. Mm. I went in there with ego. You're, you're mature right now. You can say that right now. Well, me, e ego was what drove me, okay? And that, that gave me a kick. I respect the honesty, though. I respect the honesty. Yeah, that gave me a kick. So, all right. Um, we're gonna have Werla Riske to um, choose a winner from the competition. So, Steve, Karen, can Must you yeah, have a little go. look, see, and um, um, yeah, you can go. You can okay, go. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for tr to Trisha for joining me. Okay. And today's show. Um, you wanna? Yeah, go ahead. All do right, your so thing. My name is Trisha Blake. I'm the CEO of Diva Choice. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Diva Choice. Um, www.divachoice.co.uk where you'll find items like what I'm wearing now many many goodies many many goodies just check it out swimwear statement fashion jewellery body jewellery lots of things there for you Christmas coming up so check us out okay alright thank it you is. so much now I'll see you take care thanks oh, for your honesty you too bad <laughs> bye bye darling oh no you want to show some skin yeah yeah cool yeah well no, no. no I'm trying to get out of the but may I see be a skin <laughs> alright so I'm joined here again by Steve from World of Risque um, I'm here, I'm here. who's the sponsor of the show and also Karen yes. so we're going to pick a winner for the competition that we had going which was to caption the Photo and have you guys got a winner? Um, we did. See we a beat. Winner. Oh wow! So we had some some since we've been on. Yeah. Yeah, this one's coming in now. Yes. Um. Don't you know it? That was the one, isn't it? Is it? Don't read it out for them. Get excited yeah, 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 unless yeah, yeah, you yeah. choose it. Is that the one you're looking for? I don't know which one. Then, if I'm there. That one there? Yes. yes. Okay, so you go ahead, read it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go, you go ahead. You read it. <laughs> so All it's right. been picked by Steve and Karen. It has nothing to do with me. All right, so this one is for um, Carleen. Carly Understroke Buzz. Um, and this one says, the one that we've chosen. Well, there's, about, there's about 21, I would say, that we actually looked at and um, had to go through and sort of select which one was the best one, which one sort of drew our attention 
and we found us more, you know, more creative basically. So the one we've chosen <laughs> is um, from Carleen <laughs> underscore Buzz, which is dung in a year, dung in a year, dung in a year for a gag. Um, gag boy, so. Gage. G- yeah, okay, gage boy. So. Gag, you know what he's on. <laughs> First he said stroke, then oh, yeah. he said well, gag. Actually, okay. when, when, when I'm reading it, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought it was gagging in her throat. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I, I thought, did, like, yeah, so. I thought it was gagging in her throat. Yeah, so mm. gagging in her throat. I think that's where I got it from, yeah. you mentioned it earlier. Yeah, it's from a song. me saying gag. Yeah, it's an artist called Gage. It's, that's the oh, line from his song. Oh, um, yeah. I know the tune, I know. All right, so that's Gage the artist, basically. All yes. right. So, so you are the winner of our competition. So well done, Carleen Buzz. You have won a prize. Yeah. Um, for your yeah, creativity. Do we have to show her? No, you don't have to show her, no. So, uh, this bag will be on your way to you. So we've got, yeah. we got some secret items in here for you, Carleen. Um, and I'm sure you'll enjoy. And again, as you said earlier on, it's for both yourself and your partner. Yes, yes. Nice yes, yes, yes please. Nice yes. Partner. If you can actually um, send us a picture with whatever's in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in this week. Yep. And I know we started late, but you see, next week we're going to be on time. Right. Um, so I'm going to be joined next week by, wait, we just wait for it. I'll let you know in the week who we're going to be joined by. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for joining us. And I hope that you guys did click the link in my bio and try to log into the StreamYard link. Yep. If not, then hopefully you can do it next week. I want to say thank you so much for, yeah, to you. World thank of Risque, Steve, and Karen thank for you. coming here, and Trisha. Uh, from Diva Choice, and yeah. yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, Take care. Yeah, it's been Bye. a great pleasure. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Okay, so we're off here there, but we're on here there. So